Hello, my name is Marco and in this video I will show you three common networking issues and ways to fix them. Okay, one issue you might encounter is what's called selective browsing. That is when you have an internet connection and you are able to browse a number of websites except a select few. Like in this case, I'm able to load this page, example.com, but I'm unable to load google.com. So clearly we have an internet connection since we are able to connect to example.com but not google.com. So what we can do in this case is to ping google.com to see if we are able to reach it. Okay, so we clearly cannot. Uh, what's there can be a number of uh, reasons for this, but what we can do is to check if it's uh, an issue with our internet connection or if it's if Google.com is really down. So for that, we would need this website. So let's see if Google.com is indeed down. Okay, so it's just me. So a probable a probable solution to this is to just uh, reboot your modem or router. And if that doesn't work, I suggest you call your internet service provider. Another very common issue is slow internet connection. A slow internet connection manifests itself. Uh, in your while you're browsing like for example it takes a while for your for the web page to load and once the web page is rendered the images takes a while to load when you post uh, forms it takes a while to get a response and that's because your internet connection is low well one of the first thing you can do uh, especially if uh, you're on Wi-Fi is to make sure that your device is getting a strong signal from your router, your Wi-Fi router. So one way to check that is to see or to look for this symbol. In Windows, it might be different, but this indicates uh, how much signal you are getting from your Wi-Fi router. So in this case, I'm connected to this uh, router, and it's showing that all of the all of the lines are white. That means I'm getting 100% of uh, the signal strength and the other one oh well this is that is because the router is right right beside my my computer the other one I, I, I believe this is uh, from my neighbor's connection so his the signal strength indicator shows a gray line so I'm getting about 75% uh, of the signal strength so if you if you have a very low signal strength this uh, most of this would be gray and as a result you will get a slow internet connection a fix for that would be to take your device closer to to the router and another issue would be interference if there are other devices or especially devices that emits or radio signals uh, between the router and your computer uh, that can slow your internet connection because that will affect how much uh, signal your computer is getting or your device is getting. Another common cause of slow internet connection is people sharing the connection with you. Like for example, you, if you share your internet connection with your family uh, one person might be streaming, the other person might be might be downloading uh, off the internet, thus eating up your bandwidth and slowing things down for you. So one fix, of course, would be to kindly ask them to uh, stop what they are doing. Another reason why your internet might be slow is what's called throttling. Well, most ISPs, especially in the Philippines, has an advertised 
promise speed like for example in my case the promise speed is 5 mbps but that is only true for the first 500 mb meaning i have a bandwidth cap so that means after the first 500 mb of data has been transferred i will only get 30 percent of the promise speed so 30 percent of 5 is roughly 1.3 mbps so it could be slower so it's best to check with your isp if your internet connection is throttled then there's really nothing you can do you just have to wait for your quota to refresh now what will you do if you don't have an internet connection like for example what i have in this case one fix would be to follow what you are instructed to do in, in a page such as this uh, google chrome is very helpful because it has a number of uh, things you can try well first of all checking the network cable or router because it's quite possible that the cable has been disconnected or if you are using wi-fi it's, it's quite possible that the signal is very very low or something is causing interference causing you to lose connection from the wi-fi router one thing that you should always try and isp customer service representative always suggests is to power cycle your modem or router and power cycling is done by disconnecting the power adapter waiting 10 seconds and plugging the power adapter back in if after trying all of these things you still don't have an internet connection call your internet service provider um, most of the time losing an internet connection is, a, is an intermittent issue that can take an hour or a couple of hours or even a day for for it to get fixed and uh, the only way to find out is to call your internet service provider and that's all for today thank you for watching i hope you find this helpful and have a nice day